Welcome to the first section of this course where we will talk about three main points a database, a database management system and lastly we will talk about the database development process A database is an ordered collection of data The main idea behind this definition is the word ordered and the word collection A database needs to be in an orderly manner such that the main purpose of retrieving data will be, easy, be easily achieved. If data is collected in a disorganized manner, it will be very difficult to access this data. So basically, the idea behind database is to collect data in, an, in a particular order. An example of such orderly collection of data could be an Excel spreadsheet where we put data in a tabular format such that we can be able to access these data. The other forms of data could be in a text file or many more. A database management system is a software or a program or an application that help us manage our database. It helps us manage our orderly our ordered collection of data, the database. An example of a DBMA is MySQL. Other examples include PostgreSQL, Oracle, and SQLite. In a later part of this course, we are going to talk about MySQL. But however, it is worth mentioning that most of the time, a database and a database management system could be used interchangeably. Most of the times, we hear people refer to a database management system like MySQL as a database. Now, we'll look at the differences between a database and an application. An application help has a specific purpose and it may or may not have access to a database. So for an application that has access to a database, a user could provide certain information like in this example, a user can provide the contact, it can provide a company name, an address, a city, and when all this information is entered, when the user clicks, they enter the submit button, this information is sent to the database. An application can also retrieve data from the database as well as it can send data from a database. A database is basically basically a collection of data of, of, of data. In this section, we will lastly talk, will last talk, talk about the database development process. Database is developed in four different stages. The first stage of a database development is the analysis. For example, when a company asks you to design a database, the company will give you specification or requirement of the kind of system they want to use or they, they need from you. So when you get all this specification, you are going to analyze this information. Most of the time, this information is known as the business requirement. So when you get this business requirement, you're going to analyze it and, came, and come out with a design, which will mostly likely be implemented using an ER diagram and in this course we are going to talk more about ER diagram in later part of the course and when you have had your design you will now implement your design into a dbms or mysql which we are going to see in the later part of this course when you have implement when you have implemented your database you will, you can now perform maintenance activities like monitoring backup restore and update if in case you have any change in your database during maintenance, 
you have to go back through the process you analyze this new change you design you implement it and you come back to the maintenance stage so the process of database development is a continuous process in a particular order of analysis design and implementation in this course we will mostly work with this three part the three first part of the of the database development process we will talk about the analysis we will talk about design and implementation and doing the design we will be mostly talking about ERO diagrams and in the implementation we will use MySQL As a recap of all what we have seen in this section of the course, we have talked about the definition of database, we have talked about the definition of a database management system, and we have highlighted the fact that a DBMS and a database can be used interchangeably. We have also talked about an application and how the application is related to a database. An application basically collects information and sends to a database or an application can retrieve information from a database. And lastly, we've talked about the database development of process where we walk through the analysis, the design, the implementation, and the maintenance. Uh, thank you. I'm happy you're joining us in this course. I'll be happy if you continue and see you in the next lecture. Bye.